The session you're gonna to see today is unbelievable. I'm playing with an 11 years old Japanese player called Reita that I know well because he came many times to the academy. Last time he was 10 and he was a kid that was able to coach himself in a way that I have ever seen in my life. This kid is amazing and I want you to discover that. Remember this is a Japanese kid I played with seven months ago. He was coaching himself, 11 years old. That's unbelievable, I've never seen that. He just came back and I just played with him. It's even worse. He improved on every single thing we talked about. Even in his game style, he made his game style evolve. He is amazing. He has such a good feel for the ball and he has a feel for his body. He can, that's why he's coaching himself in a way, because he can correct himself most of the time, except for things he doesn't know because he never done it. But otherwise, if I tell him, don't do this, do that, he will know when he did it and when he did not. Before, he was staying behind the baseline, hitting a lot of rallies. Now he comes in, takes the ball early, tries to hurt every time, come to the net, finish the points. I mean, it's a complete game from a pro already. Of course, there's a lot of room for improvement on a lot of things, but he's playing like a pro, a top professional. That's crazy.
So you have two options, deep or... I forgot you were the coach, not me. You play better. Yeah. yeah, I mean you're playing already very well, but if you look at the zones, that's very good. Most of the time you play deep or you find the angle. Excellent. Yeah. Will you be able to do the same on the backhand side? <laughs> Oh yeah! Ah. 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 You did great with the backhand. Wow. It's good because it adapts to all type of balls. Yeah. It's real fast, high, low. I try to mix, but you're okay on everything. What was the problem on my slice? What do you think? Uh, because I was hitting a date in the bridge. Okay. I was waiting for the ball. Yeah. And I need to move fast. Yeah. Go for it. Very good. So you have the solution already. Good. Yeah, that, that's, that's something that's a classic on slice. A lot of players feel oh half time and when the ball bounces it accelerates a little bit especially on hard or even more on grass so if you're waiting you end up hitting like this whereas what you should do is when, when the ball bounces the second it bounces you wow you go for it you don't wait and that makes a big difference but uh, i thought on higher balls you'll be in trouble but now you can take your lead that's so good and your volley is amazing yeah you know, most of the time when players come here, you tell them what to do and they come back home and they come back and it's the same. Nothing changed, but in his case, it's different. You know, he worked on everything. You can see it. Taking the ball much earlier on the back end, he was always moving back and doing this. Yeah. Now you can also accelerate on those ones. And coming to the net, getting, uh, you know, using the short balls to move forward, take early and finish at the net, that's great. Because in the future, it's going to be so important. What you can work on is, uh, is moving very fast backwards to, to hit the, the overhead. Something you can improve and it's going to help you in the matches because for sure a lot of guys are going to love you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, work on it. And then you, once you feel very comfortable moving very fast backwards and jumping and hitting the, the overhead, then yeah. there is no more uh, hole in your game. Zero! <laughs> Ready? Same. Yes, sir.
Oh oui, parfait. Ah. Ah. Oh oui Woo So congrats on your volleys, they're so much better and you find the good ang the angles, which is very important. Great. On the when you don't when you play down the line or on me, you have to find more depth. So if you want to find more depth, if you are too too close here, the ball is gonna go short. Yeah. If you open it a bit more. He's gonna fly more, so find the right uh, tune yeah. to have the perfect angle so you can always go under the ball bam, and let it fly a bit longer, okay? No, first of all, I think what's important for him is to volley deeper. Of course, when he wants to go for a short angle, fine, but when he, when he, was, when he was playing on me, it was very short. And I think the, the, one of the reasons is because he's hitting the ball like this rather than, than, than cutting it just here, like this, and using more, your legs more. And I think you'll find a good depth, and then you'll have. If you accelerate your legs, you're gonna have the pace. Don't worry. And I, I saw that you improved that, by the way. You were very, very uh, static at the net. Now you're very dynamic. It's much better. You improved everything. Congrats. We do just a little bit of this. Uh, you just play on me, and you look for depth on every, whether it's forehand or backhand volley, and you keep the same grip. Okay. Just remember to cut the ball. You wanna show me how you cut it? Yeah. I see. Instead of attacking the ball like on a straight line, you go from a bit higher, not too much, huh? yeah. but just a bit higher. You open, you, you open the head of the racket and you cut it like this. Check. Check. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I don't know how I think, but not the right way. Ready? Great. Woo! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry, sorry. Stay in the middle so you're not surprised. Yeah, okay, perfect. Backhand, angle, forehand, dip. Yeah, again. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yes, great one! Perfect, yeah. Bravo, good ball! Parfait. Very good this one. Excellent. Parfait. Woo! Can you just check the grip so it doesn't uh, change it? <laughs> you sure? Now, because you're, you're, uh, you're here, yeah. make sure your hand, for the moment, close it a little bit so you're sure you're not changing. Just to start, but very good, huh? Right now, I'm gonna play down the line. So get ready for this one, okay? I'm gonna play backhand down the line, you go forehand, dip. Second one, you finish. There you go. Merci. Ready? Perfect. Bravo. Excellent control. Yes! Parfait! Woo! Oh oui, 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 j'ai... Ah! <laughs> right, huh? Very simple. You follow the ball. You always follow your ball. So when you play... You play down the line, here? You follow your ball, so... You're here. Okay, don't be shy and be a bit in the middle. Cover the down the line always. Parfait! Woo! Great job! Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah! Parfait! Super good. Oh, oui, bravo. Bravo. Oui. Bravo. Sorry. Sorry. 
Yeah, too much motion. Just go with it. Tack, tack, tack. Keep, keep your racket in front. Same one. Parfait. Okay, high back and volley, show me. Yeah, you see the racket all the time? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then you need a lot of this. Okay, because otherwise you have, exactly. And go, pop, and pop, and even after you can do two, three steps, huh? Yeah, same okay. as Exactly the same, but it's yes. better. Uh, it's much better, the, like normal balls is much better. Yeah. A little high, much better. Just those uh, high balls, like moon ball one. Yeah. I just do this, because yeah. I want to generate power. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And even on the fast ones, you go a bit too much with the, the, the arm. Yeah. When you do a volley, be in a position. Okay. Just don't move your hands, turn your shoulders. Yeah, exactly. And then you can get it. Yeah. But you don't move your arm back because after that you need to bring it up again. And if the ball is fast, it's flying. You feel that. Yeah. If I go faster, it's flying. It shouldn't fly because if you just turn, boom. Okay, you're more compact. So do it, show me. Forehand volley, forehand, tuck. Just turn your shoulders, yeah, backhand volley, boom. Exactly, and high ball, same, go. Yes, yes, perfect. <laughs> you already, you almost had him. Yes, a bit too much, a bit too much. Okay, okay, go. Yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yes, that's great. Here you were good, now just the hand goes here. Huh? Yeah. Here, like this, look at the, you catch your hand. From this position to here, because you cut it. Here, and then you follow, bam! Yes. That's great, that's great, again. That's great, that's super volley. Yes, 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 yes. Control it with your hand, push forward, yeah. Not back, but forward, yes! Super good, again. Good job. Right now for the moment, just tell yourself, if I just push the ball like this, it's fine, okay? Don't look for power. Just use your legs as much as you can, and with your hand, just cut it. Cut it down. Ready? More legs, more legs. Faster. Parfait. Parfait. Again. C'est parfait. Great job. Parfait. Bravo. How is the result? More consistency. Very good. Yeah. And then after, when you do this very well, then you can start to just Accelerate a bit more, cut it a bit more, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the toss? Yeah. I think your toss is a bit low. Because I see that you're hitting the ball yeah. here, yeah, instead of here. So maybe give yourself just a little bit more uh, height. So my toss, uh, my is a bit quick, so. it's fine. But if it's quick and you're hitting the ball here, I have nothing to say. <laughs> that's be that's better. Yeah, yeah. Don't change your rhythm. Just toss a little bit higher with the same rhythm, and you'll be fine. Better. Again. Yeah. Too far in front? Yeah. Yeah. How is the result? One more? Wait. Over my racket, please. Yes. Sound. Yes, that's what that's a very good serve. Wow. One more.
Okay, come. I show you. Look. Now I just want you to look at your shoulders. Yeah. Your left shoulder comes here and you're like this. So to put the ball there, being in that position is tough. The goal when you kick is to keep the line here and then you go here. But the moment you hit the ball, your shoulders are making a line in the direction where you want to serve. Okay? Yeah. Let's do a few. Ready? Keep it. Don't worry. Woo! <laughs> one more. Same. Keep this one in the direction. Here. Line. Yeah. Sorry. Line. Here. Super. Bravo. Again, keep your line. Yeah, so much better. It's like those guns, you know, there are guns when you shoot. No, no, they have, they have one light that points at the target. So this is your light on the target. So you keep this line. line. So good. It's very good. It's good, it's good, it's good. So this arm stays here. Whereas before, this arm was going there, opening your shoulders. Yeah. yeah? So when you serve, keep this arm here. So you keep your line, your shoulder line. It's gonna be good now. Good sir. It's good. Okay, now you now you you do the exact same. That's very good. You just bring the the your hand over there and bring the ball with you there. Together. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You just went down. If you do the same thing but up, it's gonna be perfect. One more. Last one. Yeah. Your shoulders. And second thing, imagine there is a double net and you have to pass over it. Double net. Nope. There is two nets on on top of each other. Voila, that's the best one you've hit so far. Super good. For the moment, always think about the double net. Okay. Actually, he's a very good coach. <laughs> I've never seen someone your age that has such a feel about what you're doing and uh, corrects himself that way. Really rare. Yeah, but still, you know, I know a lot of guys whose parents, <laughs> parents are tennis coaches and they don't know. Even top players, sometimes they don't know what they're doing and you have a very good feel. Both tactically and technically. Bravo.